Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reefy Ron, and today we're going to be doing a tier list of Far Cry 6. This is going to be on all of the unique assault rifles. I'll be ranking them according to how good I think that they are. And we're going to talk about each of them. We're also going to be talking about um, their stats. I also don't know why I have my headset on. I don't need it for this video. So we're just going to be going down the line and talking about each of these. So our very first one is called Death Rites. This one is the unique AK. And this one for mods has armor piercing bullets. It has a compensator on it. And then for the actual like rifle mods that it has on it, it has a headshot Supremo, which makes it so um, killing with headshots rewards Supremo refund or Supremo charge so that you get your Supremo up quicker, which is really nice. And then it also has vampiric rounds, which makes it so anytime that you deal damage with it, you have a chance of healing yourself with it. That is all really, really strong. Armor piercing rounds are probably the best rounds for the assault rifles just in general, because you can two shot and you can two shot headshot anything in the game, I believe, besides certain animals. Um, you also can't like do that to vehicles, but any sort of armored unit you completely destroy. You can kill regular people with just one shot headshot. Vampiric Rounds gives you extra healing, and refunding your Supremo is pretty useful. This one is going to start out really strong and go right up into S tier. It was probably one of the best unique uh, assault rifles that I was using throughout the game. It's also very easy to get because it's just located on the map, and you can go there pretty much right after the first island, so you can get it pretty early on too. Our next assault rifle is called F*** Anton, which this one's kind of a hard one to find, at least if you don't know what you're looking for, because... You have to get uh, the Amigo Chorizo, the little dog in the wheelchair. He's got to give you a key, and then you have to go back to the first island to unlock a chest to get this thing. Now, this is the unique AKM, I believe. And this one has poison rounds in it. It has a muzzle break. And then for its mods, it has trigger discipline, which makes it so that you have improved aim damage when you're aiming down sights. And it also has nimble shooter, which makes it so you have more movement speed when aiming down sights. The mods that it has on it are not bad. Those are actually pretty decent mods. Uh, they're nothing like spectacular, but they're pretty decent. Muzzle break is useful to have on it, but then the real, real downside to it is that it's poison rounds. Poison rounds are pretty much the worst rounds in Far Cry. They just don't do enough damage. You have to shoot enemies a ton of times to actually kill them with it. The poison effect is really not all that spectacular. This one is a really big letdown because it took us so long to actually find it when I was playing through it. And then it was just so underwhelming. This one's D tier. Um, it's just, it's not worth getting. Our next assault rifle is Viva Libertad. This one is the unique uh, FAL. This one you do get pretty early on because you can get it on the very first island, I believe. This one has soft target rounds, makes it so you do more damage towards unarmored enemies. Uh, but less damage to armored enemies. Uh, you also have a laser sight on it, so it's a little bit more accurate when you're firing it from the hip. At least that seems to improve accuracy. I'm not actually sure if that messes with the spread or what it does, or if it just kind of helps you aim a little bit easier. And then for mods, it's got fast reload, so it reloads quicker, and it's got headshot supremo, so killing with headshots refunds supremo charge. Soft body rounds are okay, especially with how early you can get this. You can use them against like snipers later on. You can use them against certain enemies, but later on enemies are going to start wearing body armor pretty regularly. And then soft body rounds really don't help you all that much. So this one does fall off pretty hard, but when you do get it, it's pretty decent. Um, I'd say it's probably like a tier if you get it on the first island. And then, you know, once you get to the bigger island, it kind of drops down. So I think I'm going to put it into C tier overall, but it probably starts out as A tier and then drops just because the bullets don't do the best for it. All right, next up we got the camo. Um, I can not pronounce the second name, so the unique M16. This one you can find pretty early on. It's pretty easy to find too. It's kind of, well, you're probably going to find it during one of the main missions anyway, so you'll get it then. It, it, you don't have to really go out of your way to try to find this. Again, has soft body rounds, which as we've talked about, works really well against certain enemies, not so well against other enemies. It can work decently well against certain animals and stuff like that, but doesn't work well against armored enemies. Um, it does have a tactical sight, which makes it so that it has a three times ACOG sight on it, I believe. So that's okay. It's got the uh, laser sight on it, so more accurate hip fire. And then for mods, it's got Gunslinger, which makes it so that you can draw and holster the weapon quicker. And it's got Preloader, which improves the speed of replacing a partial magazine. So if you're not running the magazine all the way out and you go to reload it, it's a little bit quicker. This one, I would say, is a little bit better than the FAL, but it has the same problems as the FAL. And it's it still doesn't hold that many shots. It holds 20 rounds altogether, which the FAL also does. 
So this one, you're just getting like the scope on it and then potentially some better mods to it. So maybe B tier, eh, I don't know. I think we're gonna put it into high C tier right now, but it might be B tier. Up next, we've got Shark Bite. This is the unique M14. And this one also has soft target rounds, so good against uh, non-armored enemies, bad against armored enemies. This has the suppressor on it, which is kind of useful. It has the uh, Spectre Sight, which is a two times medium scope, which is pretty good for a battle rifle. And then for uh, mods, it has extended mag, so it goes up to 20 rounds, I believe, rather than holding 15 rounds. And it has keep it cool so that your suppressor cools down quicker than it normally would. That's pretty good. Suppressors can be abused pretty well with this, and this is great for picking off other snipers or other um, units that aren't heavily armored. Again, it's not good against heavy armored enemies. I believe you have to take at least two shots to the head of uh, armored enemies to actually kill them with this, which compared to like just the regular M14, if you put armor rounds into it, it will just sail right through the head of anybody. It can one-shot headshot any uh, regular enemy, whether they're armored or not. So this feels like a big step down from that gun. And it's a decent sniper weapon. I'd put it into B tier. It, it kind of falls off though too. Up next we got the Noblesse. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the unique SKS. And this gun has a pretty cool skin on it. But it has poison rounds, which is already a big downside. <laughs> this weapon doesn't have any other uh, tactical mods on it. So no, no different sights, no laser pointers, no anything like that. Um, for mods, it has extended mags, so it does have a larger capacity, which is nice. I think this goes up to 13 then, if I'm remembering right. And it has trigger discipline, which makes it so that you get improved damage when aiming down sights. The poison rounds just really hurt this weapon. The regular SKS is a pretty strong weapon, because again, if you put um, armor piercing rounds into it, it can one-shot headshot any normal enemy that you're going to come up, up across. So... Putting poison rounds in it makes it so it really doesn't kill enemies quick. The poison rounds aren't all that great. This one's another D tier. It's better than the AK, just because it does have higher damage per shot, so you can actually kill things a little bit quicker, but it's still not all that effective. Next, we have the one ping only. This is the unique AS Val. This one's pretty good, because this one has armor piercing rounds in it, which is really nice. The AS Val is already internally suppressed, which is really good. Has the Gunt Rutcher mod, which makes it so that it does improved body shot damage, which is kind of nice, because armor piercing rounds can still kill enemies to the body really quick, but this does help with the, killing them a little bit quicker. It also has a sight on it, which is a two-time sight. Um, I should have mentioned that before. And it has press the advantage, which makes it so that you're dealing extra damage to enemies at low health. So you can kill them even quicker. So if you're not hitting headshots too consistently, this weapon is still really good for killing them just outright. This is probably another S-tier assault rifle. It's really good. I'm not sure if it's necessarily better than the AK or not. Uh, I like the AK a little bit more because of the vampiric rounds. Getting a little bit of health back is nice, and having a larger magazine is nice. But if you like the extra suppressor and you like just the more forgiving AS Valve, then use that one. You do get this one pretty late on into the main story, though. So it's not as useful as, like, the AK is. I, you can get the AK right out the gate. The AS Val, you're going to have to do the majority of the main story to actually get. So, eh. That might make it a little bit worse than the AK, in my opinion. Up next, we've got the Vaya con Dios. This is the unique Groza assault rifle. And this one has soft body rounds in it, which are already okay. Um, and then it doesn't have any sort of other sight mods or anything, which is pretty bad because the Groza sights are pretty awful, in my opinion. I do not like them at all. It'd be much better if you had like a red dot or just any sight on it, really. Um, for mods, it has the Gunslinger, which makes it so you draw and holster the gun quicker, and it has Press the Advantage, which makes it so you deal more damage to enemies at low health. That's overall okay. Um, I still think it's kind of like a C-tier weapon. I'd rather have the M16 or the uh, FAL over it. Uh, it's just, the, the sights on it really kill it for me. If you can look past that, and, and if you like the sights, then maybe it's like B tier, because the press the advantage is pretty nice on it. Uh, up next, we've got the Surf and Turf. This is the unique M14. Um, I believe that this is the smaller M14. Maybe it's the full-sized one. I can't remember. There's two of them. Um, they're pretty similar overall, I'd say. And this one has armor piercing rounds in it, which is a big plus. It has a 4 times ACOG sight on it, which is another big plus. <laughs> And then for mods, it's got an extended mag, taking it from 15 rounds to 20 rounds, and it's got the high ground uh, add-on, which makes it so you deal more damage to enemies that are below you. 
that that's kind of okay. Um, I don't find that it matters all that much, especially with this gun, because if it has armor-piercing rounds in it, it one-shot headshots any normal enemy, which is really strong. And uh, yeah, this one's going to go right up into S tier 2. This one, eh, I'd put it above the AK. I just find this one more useful because you can one-shot headshot with it. The AK, you got a two-shot headshot. So it, it's really strong. I really enjoy it. And it's not that hard to find either. I think you got to do a treasure quest to get it. But the treasure quest is pretty easy to find. I think you can get it at any point in the game. And it's... Uh, really solid overall and then our next assault rifle is the hi-fi this one is the unique uh i keep calling it an extended mag fal but i think it's like the ssg something or another i don't remember exactly what it's called this has explosive rounds in it which explosive rounds are really good for killing vehicles they're okay for fighting regular enemies uh they're not as good as like armor piercing rounds or even soft body rounds depending on the enemy but they'll, they'll do the job pretty well. This one has a three times scope on it, which is pretty nice, as well as a candid sight. So you can switch over to that if you want to use the iron sights, which is good. For mods, this has gut wrencher, improving body damage. That actually helps it out quite a bit. It does kill enemies fairly fast, even if you're hitting the body. Um, it works decently well against light armored and medium armored enemies because of that. And it has preloader, which makes it so you improve the reloading speed of partial uh, reloaded magazines or partially spent magazines. This one's all around pretty good. Um, I'd put it up into A tier. It's a solid all around weapon. I like the skin and uh, yeah, it's just, it's a nice gun. Our next rifle is the Urashi. This is the unique uh, ARC and this gun is quite good too. This one has armor piercing rounds in it, which is already a big plus. It has a large uh, cylindrical suppressor on it, which is really good too, because that makes it so it uh, doesn't overheat too quick it has a laser sight on it which is good it's also got fresh clip which makes it so the first shot after reloading does bonus damage which is nice and it's also got the vampiric ability which makes it so you can get health back from it all around really solid weapon this one's also going up into s tier i'd put it just below the surf and turf and then our last rifle here is the zona 51 this one is the unique bp2 i believe is what it's called vhs2 whatever you want to call it um, this has incinerary rounds in it, which we haven't talked about incinerary rounds yet. And for an assault rifle, they're okay. They're good against vehicles. They're not that great against people. Um, they're not bad against people, though, either, because they, even though they're not killing enemies quickly, they still render an enemy pretty much incapacitated while it is on fire. So, and the fire can spread to other enemies. It can also blow things up a little bit easier if they're standing around gas barrels and stuff. So, eh, it's okay. It has a red dot sight on it, which is good. And then its mod is Reload All, which makes it so reloading this weapon reloads all of your weapons. That's also not bad, especially if you're running weapons that have a slow reload. If you're running, like, shotguns that got to reload one shell at a time. Um, maybe you got to reload, like, a grenade launcher. It's pretty good then. So it, it has utility with it, and it's overall okay at everything. I'd probably put this one high up into B tier. Uh, the incinerary rounds still just don't make it that great of a weapon to be killing most enemies with, though. So, that's why I wouldn't put it any higher than that. I think this is where I'd put all the assault rifles in Far Cry 6 compared to one another, at least all the unique ones. Some of these really stand out. Some of them are really good. Special thanks to the supporters of the channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. They get early access to videos like this. If you'd like to be a part of that, there are links down in the description. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!